Trish Barella's creator of Positive Change. I'm going to teach a hack that I like to call the energy ball. So in order to utilize this hack for anxiety, you should be barefoot. And hopefully it's best if you're outside um, in grass, but if you're a New Yorker, live in the city, or you're just too busy inside your apartment or wherever else will be just fine. So I'm going to walk you through um, a little bit about how it works and then you're gonna be closing your eyes as we're doing this exercise. This exercise is designed for when you need to feel grounded. So it's sometimes we can feel kind of um, disassociated. We feel like we're kind of like not in our body or just not ourselves. And we need something to kind of bring us back, bring us kind of back into our body back into our mind. Uh, I always talk about how anxiety always makes me feel like a split personality, whereas like there's the anxious me and the non-anxious me and I need them to talk and become one. So this is a good exercise that I devise to help clients to kind of feel a little bit more grounded. So you're going to plant your feet on the ground and you're going to hold your stomach, your abdomen, I, I would say. So put two hands on. The first step is we're gonna learn how to breathe properly, which is what most people don't know. So I'm gonna stand sideways for this. So when you breathe in, you're gonna push your stomach out. And when you exhale, your stomach contracts, so it goes in. So when we breathe in, our stomach goes out. When we exhale, our stomach then comes in. This is really important for anxiety sufferers because we tend to breathe right here that short, shallow breathing where we wanna push it down and really get that stomach moving. That's how you know that you're doing the, this breathing exercise correctly. So we're gonna just place our hands right on our abdomen and we're gonna take two breaths in. Push your stomach out, exhale, pull your stomach in. One more time. Inhale, stomach out, exhale, stomach in. And now, you're with your eyes still closed, you're going to create a little ball, just with your hands, and you're gonna put it right around your belly button. And I'm going to talk you through of how to create energy, because we are all energy. We are connected through energy, we're energy, this couch is energy, that plant's energy, this everything is energy, we're all connected. So we're going to try to create energy to get us a little bit more grounded and more back into ourselves. So you're gonna hold a little ball, our imaginary little ball, and we're gonna start breathing. So when you're breathing, I also want you to push the ball out and in, and out and in. So this you can do for, uh, I would say a minimum of two minutes, but uh, for sake of time, we won't go for the full two minutes but this is something that you want to really kind to kind of give time to so that you can really create the space in order to feel a little bit better and a little bit more calm. So with your eyes closed, holding your ball, breathe in, breathe out. So continue to breathe in and breathe out with your eyes closed. And I'm gonna be talking throughout this uh, mini exercise with you just holding your ball and breathing in and breathing out. I want you to breathe according to however feels right for your body. So just continue to breathe in and out, pushing that ball out and in. And now with your eyes closed, I want you to start to think about all the things, all the things that are inside your body, everything that you can you can feel um, emotions, thoughts, and we're gonna push them into our diaphragm, into our chest, through our arms, and into this ball. And we are going to force our ball to get warmer. So our ball is going to get warmer, and all of our thoughts and all of our feelings are going to be pushed into this ball. So you can feel your feet on the ground, Think about what it feels like. Think about all of that energy that's connecting through your feet, in through your body, out through your hands, into this ball. I want you to see if you can make this ball two degrees hotter. 
Just keep breathing and keep pumping all your energy through your arms into this ball. Now can we make that ball two degrees a little bit warmer? So it's not quite hot yet, but it's just warm. So keep breathing, keep feeling, and everything that you're feeling, maybe it's uncomfortable, maybe it's panicky, maybe it's uneasiness, just grab it and throw it into this ball. Grab everything, dig deep into the soles of your feet, push them, push them through your arms into this energy ball. Now your energy ball is getting really warm, really warm. You can almost feel it tingling. Your hands are a little bit tingling and we're going to count down shortly. And as I'm counting down, I want you to make this ball really, really hot. And you're gonna think of the color red and you're gonna think of anything that can produce heat and your body is a conductor of heat. So we can create this ball and we can really send it tons of energy. So I'm gonna count down from 10. And as I'm counting down, keep thinking of these thoughts. Three, keep drawing in through your feet, up through your body, out your shoulders, into your arms, into this ball. So 10, and really deep breaths. Eight. Six, can you make this ball hotter? Can you make it warmer? Is it getting red? Four, how hot is your ball? How hot is it? Can you feel your hands tingling? Two, really put all of your energy, all of your thought, all of your heart into this ball. And one, hold this ball. And with all of that energy, with all of that heat, I want you to take your hands and now wrap it around you and squeeze really tight. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. We are giving ourselves back this energy. We are creating energy and we are giving it back to ourselves. Your hands should be very, very warm. They don't have to be burning hot, but they should be warm. And we really are just giving ourselves the love that we need and to get us back into our souls, back into our body. That really helps when you're barefoot and it helps when you're creating this energy and this heat. I tend to just pulsate my hands just because I'm a hand talker. So I really hope that this exercise can get you to really start to feel things move and shift through your body, out to your hands, and into your imaginary ball because you are creating, you are creating energy, you're moving energy, you're shifting energy. It's really important for anxiety sufferers to learn how to shift, shift energy, shift thinking. Uh, this is a uh, easy hack that you can do. I do recommend to do it for no less than like maybe five minutes or whatever time that you have to allow yourself, but to just get back into your body and do some deep breathing. And I hope this really helps.